welcome. This is my new dual X carriage Bukabot adapted from the Bukabot Duo by Dees Maker. The main change as you can see is that there are, that the single X carriage with two extruders has been split to become two independently driven X carriages and that has major improvements in dual extruder printing. So as you can see with this piece here there is uh, little or no uh, uh, contamination between the, uh, the colors. There's no tracking or, and I've especially chosen the red and the white to have very uh, to be very high contrast in um, uh, colors. You can see that internally that the slicer at least at 0.99 version does not treat the boundary between two colors as an, as an internal uh, perimeter and, uh, or as an internal boundary and therefore it doesn't bother to do a retraction uh, internally but that's that's okay because it's not visible from the outside you can see that the so the main advantage is that the inactive extruder is not oozing over the print and instead it is being kept capped here by this small stainless steel strip and it also in a very low-tech way gets a wipe with as it goes into and out of the parked position by a small piece of easily replaceable pipe cleaner around the back you can see that there are two sets of synchromesh cables here one for each extruder the X ends have been modified to include both the idler and the motor mount on the on each X, uh, X end, and the idler has also been modified, uh, has been raised by five millimeters, so that the cable there it goes for the other extruder can move without any interference. The two X ends are actually mirror images of one another now. You can see that I've also designed this cable box, which again also keeps the wiring from interfering with the movement of the cable, uh, the synchromesh cable, as well as keeping it neat and tidy. You can see that there is also, in addition to the idler being raised, that the one end of the synchromesh cable has been raised so that it again clears that the other extruder and is parallel to the pulley. On this side you can see that the synchromesh pulley orientation is reversed for the second extruder and likewise with the extensioner and just to get the proper alignment. Down here we have a uh, additional stepper driver uh, board. This is for the uh, sixth stepper driver module, and it's easily constructed with uh, a piece of Vero board, some screw terminals, uh, and headers, and a pull-up resistor uh, to connect the, the additional stepper driver. I'm using just another Panacat SD82B uh, stepper controller. That's all connected into three digital outputs on the expansion header of the excellent uh, Aztec X3 controller. You can also see the Bluetooth module there, which um, makes um, which plugs directly onto the underside of the controller. And in addition to breaking the ground loop and uh, helping with electrical noise problems, makes the whole set up much more convenient. There we go, the print's almost finished. And I'll post a picture of the completed print on the page.